Abatala is a self-directed learning center for teens. What does that mean? It's like a modern high school. It's like a high school for the 21st century learner. Um, all our members here or learners are considered homeschoolers. They could either be registered homeschoolers with a homeschool provider or they could also be independent homeschoolers. So the goal really is to give them the space to learn um, to be self-directed, meaning they decide what kinds of classes they want. In fact, so we offer a we offer classes here that are based on the members' interests and requests. Um, so right before each block, um, which is you know composed of like two, three months at a time, we ask them what they want to learn and what they're interested in. And then we find the mentors to teach those classes. And then, so it's like a school where you have classes, but you get to choose which classes you want to take. Um, and nobody's going to force you if you don't want to take a class. We also offer mentoring sessions, one-on-one -on -one mentoring sessions to help guide them uh, if they have questions as to what direction they want to take. So here at Abotala, we really want to try our best to make sure that it's a space where our teens feel that they are trusted and respected. And I think when you trust and respect a person, no matter what their age is, I think that really allows them to believe in themselves as well because someone else is believing in them. I think that whole model is very, very powerful and it really brings about changes in them. Their dreams matter. Their interests matter. Everything they do here and wherever matters because it builds up to their future. Um, and we want to be that space for them. We've probably had our own experiences of school and sometimes in during our times when we're daydreaming of a better world, of a better society, I'm sure it's crossed our minds, you know? What if we did school this way instead of what we're doing now? Self-directed learning, um, it's a type of learning model where you take into account what their interests are. So you're not really following a set curriculum. Um, you're not learning stuff based on what other people say you should be learning at a specific point in your life. Here, whatever your interests are, you just go for it and then you figure out what do you need to learn. Like let's say if you're learning how to draw, uh, what are the dis different um, topics you need to learn like you need to learn anatomy so that you draw um, your figures accurately and then they try to figure that out so self-directed learning is comparable to interest-led learning um, and nobody really tells you what to do it's up to you to discover what you need to learn guidance is obviously given um, they can consult with mentors they can consult with adults or practitioners in the field but you're really given the space to discover what the next step is or what you need to learn i don't fear for my daughter's future just because my belief is that if my daughter or my child has a want to learn further. Um, it isn't about an end result, which is to get a degree. It's about her being successful um, in life, which is her own definition of it. So how she finds that success and her happiness at the same time, which for me is synonymous. So it, it's not about um, you know, will she graduate? Um, there is a very strong um, feeling in me that she will graduate because she wants to and because she wants to be the best of who she can be. And I think that's a very big difference from saying, um, you know, you need to graduate. And um, I feel that Abotala is a, fate, a place for her to be able to reach that and a place for her to be able to um, feel that she can do so many things and 
have an opportunity to try um, a variety of um, skills and, and just deepen um, each um, level of skill in so many areas. Um, I, I don't feel that there's a place like that in the Philippines. So I absolutely feel that Abotala is the place uh, for her. I started researching alternative forms of education and I found there's such a huge um, range, you know, from Finland's education system to Waldorf, um, Montessori, uh, democratic school, free school, and then eventually my husband and I decided to world try world schooling. We drove from San Francisco to New York in a span of three months and then uh, during that trip, we visited alternative schools and self-directed centers like Abotala. And that's where uh, my dream uh, to put up my own alternative school really began to take shape more, you know, to be fleshed out. And so when I returned to the Philippines, I chose North Star as the model that I wanted to replicate here. And that's where Abotala is now based. So that's how um, Abotala came to be. you go to school? I think that's the most common question any Filipino kid gets. Uh, do you go to school? And I just tell them, um, not really. And they're like, oh, I go to this learning center. It's called Abotala. And they're like, what? <laughs> like, what do you mean? So yeah, when people ask me that question, I just tell them it's, uh, it's this, it's a place where I learn. And that for them, that confuses them because it's usually just school. And it's not really just school, it can also be anywhere, really. I deal a lot with tech companies, tech startups, and more and more I'm discovering that the diplomas and the certificates and the degrees of the past are not that important. I'm learning that people who are agile, people who understand other people, who have empathy, who are able to communicate, who are creative, and who think, who think deep. These are the guys who are getting ahead, create new value, new companies, and a great future for themselves. Critical thinking and decision making you know, that takes a lot of practice. So imagine all the practice that they're getting here at Abotala. By the time they're ready to go to senior high or university, or even start, you know, put up their own companies, put up their own startups, and or venture into their own music and art careers, they've had a lot of practice here of deciding for themselves. It's your life, it's your journey, it's your path, it's your dream. Take as much time as you want, or go as fast as you can. And I think that's what's great about personalized education or self-directed learning. Companies who are forward-thinking, who are preparing their workforce for the 21st century, they're looking for people who, have, who possess the four C's, namely critical thinking, creativity, ability to communicate, and ability to collaborate. And I found that Abotala provides an environment for my son. I 
I didn't want my kids to go through that system where, you know, their life was just so narrow. It was just classroom, library, home, you know. It, it's just like everything was academic and, and their whole life was based on a grade. You know, there's more to life than just surviving or you know you have to thrive and you have to enjoy life and there, there's just so many hours in a day and in your life that is actually being wasted by just doing something against your will within all of us there is a little child that just wants to learn no matter who you are because every child always has a yearning to learn. Like when a child wants to play with a toy, that, that he wants to learn how to play with that toy. So it's something within all of us. We hope to bring to reality some of the dreams that we have in our hearts about what school ought to be. I can't think of any better place for him and to prepare him for the 21st century. Their opinion matters. Their dreams matter. Their interests matter. Everything they do here and wherever matters. If that's what they want, go for it. I believe that everyone will learn on their own, can learn on their own, can do it on their own, because it's within them, it's within everyone. Everyone has that spirit.